Today, we sit with the Insta360, which is here in this pouch. I'll take it out for you now. Now we're gonna take it out the pouch and show you that it has three quarters screw. Now what I did was, I took this out of the, let's put this down. I took this out of the kit, the motorcycle attachment kit. You see now, it's in two parts, which is like your conventional GoPro mount, and then like, it's an adapter for the tripod stand. We put it back together. Then, now, where this can also come in handy is if you have your selfie stick, take this off so we can show you. We have the GoPro tripod adapter. Now, if you screw that on top. A little bit easier when you're not holding the camera screw it on top that you attach this section to the camera attach it to the camera get it the angle right and you use the screw to straighten it up if we can get it in the right system way then we can attach it to the GoPro mount. There we go. Now you tighten it up. Should be able to extend it now. There we go. Extending it. In my opinion, this is a little bit better than using this. And we're going to take you to the car just now, and we'll show you why this is a little bit more versatile than using the actual motorcycle mount. So here is your ram mount, which I purchased. This you can attach to the windscreen. It's quite simple. Just attach it to the windscreen and you turn this and it seals the suction and makes it a lasting seal however there's two problems with this the first problem is attaching the mount all the time screwing on screwing off screwing at the top then when you take it to the motorbike well it's quite simple when you take it to the motorbike i'll show the motorbike thing in the other but i'll put this on the windscreen now there it on that will seal you can try as hard as you like to pull it off the only trouble is when it's a hot day and you leave the car parked and you come back and for some mysterious reason it's fallen to the ground I have what i believe to be a better solution i think yeah i think it's clear now you can see it is i've stuck a gopro mount there so when i showed you earlier that i took the gopro the other side the gopro mount now, what I do, I'm going to try and stick it in there for you. There we go. It's locked in. Now, from here, you can switch it on. Record. You can change the angle just by unscrewing here. Tilt it forward. See? Just let it settle. Firm it up. Then it has a good view of what's in front of it also has a good view of you the last thing I want to show you is the motorcycle there is the ram mount for the motorcycle which you can attach then this part loosen it up for you there and then you can angle it whichever way you want put the camera on just tighten it up just make sure it's nice and tight until it creaks because when it creaks, then you know it is actually connected. 
tight enough is 